Let me show you how you can use Dentapreg again where the patient's going to lose this tooth because of an abscess. He had the previously placed endo. And so what I want to do is we're going to extract this tooth. Prior to extracting the tooth, I'm going to make an impression. And the impression I'm going to, the material I'm going to use is called RSVP Clear PVS. It's a clear polyvinyl. And the reason why I want to use clear is I want to be able to, to light cure through the clear. I don't want to use a putty or any other type of matrix. I want to use a clear. So we go ahead, we put that over the teeth using a non-retentive tray. And then I can have the tooth extracted. Okay, Tooth comes out. And now I can place that back into the clear and it's going to fit perfectly. But this is adapted well to the lingual, right? Because it was perfectly made that you have to remove some of that. So this is how it looks. This is a very strong durometer material that is not flexible. We're going to be using this tomorrow when we make our, our overlays. So I actually take a drill, drill the lingual out, and then we're going to cut a little slot in the tooth. And you can see we have now room for the dentapreg and the composite. So you can now take that dentapreg, cut what you need, this is what we're using today, take some either Cosmocore or a flowable type hybrid, embed that into it, and then etch the tooth, place adhesive, and then go ahead, etch the teeth, rinse it, put it on, light cure through it, and when you get done, because you were able to light cure through the, the clear material, it's bonded to the back of the teeth. That can stay for years. I mean, I've bonded teeth, before I even used Dentapreg, I've bonded teeth into the adjacent teeth, and a lot of times they'll stay for several years. But here it is, the before, and here's the after. You can tell, like it's in the same spot as it was before. That's using the clear RSVP.